Chuck Hagel announced as the new nominee for Secretary of Defense. President Obama, take it away. Now, Chuck Hagel is the leader that our troops deserve. He is an American patriot. He enlisted in the Army and volunteered for Vietnam. Chuck represents the bipartisan tradition that we need more of in Washington. For his independence and commitment to consensus, he's earned the respect of national security and military leaders, Republicans and Democrats, including me. In the Senate, I came to admire his courage and his judgment, his willingness to speak his mind, even if it wasn't popular. All right, well, uh, it turns out, even if President Obama nominates a Republican, the Republicans are in no bipartisan mood, they don't like Hegel, they don't want to confirm Hegel, and basically they're saying, didn't we already warn you not to nominate this guy? How dare you not listen to other Republicans, even if we're speaking against a former Republican. So here comes Lindsey Graham from South Carolina. Well, it's a controversial choice. Uh, Ryan Crocker truly is a diplomat in the best sense of the word. Uh, I like Chuck Hagel. He served with distinction in Vietnam as a list of man, two purple hearts. But uh, quite frankly, Chuck Hagel is out of the mainstream of thinking, I believe, on most issues uh, regarding foreign policy. Chuck Hagel, if uh, confirmed to be Secretary of Defense, would be the most antagonistic Secretary of Defense toward the state of Israel in our nation's history. Ah, there we go. So they've thrown a lot of stuff at Hegel. Oh, he's anti-gay, and he's not strong enough on Iran, he was wrong in Iraq, you'll see a lot of that. Uh, but the real issue is Israel. And he has not been sufficiently uh, in favor of the right-wing government of Israel. How dare you? How dare you? Well, Lindsey Graham continues. He has long severed his ties with the Republican Party. This is an in-your-face nomination oh. by the president to all of us who are supportive of Israel. Uh, I don't know what his management experience is regarding the Pentagon, little if any. So I think it's an incredibly uh, controversial choice. And it looks like the second term of Barack Obama is going to be an in-your-face term. I'm not going to talk to you at all about the debt ceiling. And uh, here's my Secretary of Defense nominee that's going to get a lot of bipartisan uh, concern. Hegel is a Republican. He never severed ties with the Republican Party. He's a Republican. They're like, no, not good enough. Not only do we demand that you pick Republicans, we demand that you pick even more right-wing Republicans. And you know why he encouraged them? They said they were opposed to Susan Rice. President Obama was going to nominate her for Secretary of State, and then he pulled her back. I mean, he, Shirley Sherrod under the bus, Van Jones under the bus, long list of people under the bus because the Republicans didn't like him. So the Republicans think, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Did we stutter? We already told you we don't want Hegel. How dare you? When we say you pick an extreme right wing Republican as to be your Secretary of Defense, that's what you need to do. You understand? Okay. Now, on the issue of Israel, they say, my God, he said that Israel had a strong lobby. And he even used the words Jewish lobby. The idea that Israel would have a strong lobby, how dare he suggest something patently true? But don't take my word for it. Fred Kaplan is a great writer at Slate, uh, one of the top national security writers in the country. Uh, he writes, now no one could deny that AIPAC has an overpowering influence on many lawmakers. Hegel's sin in the eye of some was to call it the Jewish lobby instead of the Israel lobby. If this is a sin, AIPAC and its allies have brought it on themselves. For decades they have thundered that criticism of Israel is a thinly disguised as anti-Semitism. Yet they cry anti-Semitism again when someone inverts the equation, which is what the phrase in question amounts to. If, if anti-Israel equals anti-Jewish, then pro-Israel equals pro-Jewish. Now Fred Kaplan happens to be a Jewish American, I know I've interviewed him many times, and he's saying, look, we, we don't all agree with AIPAC, but if AIPAC says you criticize Israel, you're an anti-Semite, and then somebody says, well, then I am connecting Israels and Jews, which, by the way, Hegel didn't say. It was mainly a misstatement on his part, right? They're like, how could you connect Israel and Jews? But wait a minute, that's what AIPAC's been doing to bury their critics all along. Fred Kaplan's point there is nearly indisputable. He goes on to say, as for saying that he's a senator from Nebraska, not Israel, which is a statement that Hegel did make, and he said, had he or any other senator said this about any other country, I'm not a senator from France, England, Canada, or wherever, no one would have batted an eye. To which I say, of course! I mean, can you imagine a senator says like, 
Listen, man, I'm not a senator from France. I'm a senator from Nebraska. Everybody's like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, France is one of our top allies. But if you say, I'm not a senator from Israel, I'm a senator from Nebraska, they're like, how dare you? I mean, so what are you saying? They're all senators from Israel? They're, they're unbelievably brazen, these Republicans and the neoconservatives who are backing them.